Ready, set, go. Uh, who killed my girlfriend? You, I have. You just noticed I have a chair behind my chair. Yeah, it's my other chair. You have a temporary, you have a backup chair. chair. Oh. It's the chair yeah. for all the clothes. Exactly. It's, it's also the chair, chair that yeah. I use when other people are on videos with me. Is that why everybody's so much lower than you in your videos? Yes. Yeah. The chair yeah. also does not... It, it slowly descends. No, it, you just... No. You just like to keep your title as the tall lanky guy. We have to make sure it's we also know that. who's the tall one. Ooh, poor yes, secure, which is Connor. which is why I've sabotaged the chair <laughs> so that no one who plays a game with me stays at equal height. I hope at some point you have a couch like the Game Grumps, and then you can have then you everybody's on the same playing field as you. That's hilarious. Never. Yes. Uh, who killed my girlfriend? Where do you want to go? Uh, uh, we need us some smarts. We do so need some I'm smart. gonna say Scout HQ. Yes, please. Just thinking that. A Scout HQ? Yeah. Okay. That day, there's a guest speaker at the Monster Scouts HQ. She's a Were Eagle Monster Scout here to tell you all about advancing through the levels. Her speech is surprisingly interesting. She started out at Camp Spooky, just like you, and worked super hard to earn every single badge. She also hints at some possible foul play, including her murdering a higher level scout and wearing her skin as a disguise in order to advance through the ranks. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. Damn, look, nice. That's definitely one way to do it. Sure is inspiring. You're too busy flirting with your friends to dedicate that kind of time to monster scouts, but still, her speech instills you with plus two creativity. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. In the time you have left over, you decide to attend a workshop on how to start fires in the hopes of becoming hotter. You seem to be the only one attending the workshop until the doors open and in walks... Damien! Whoa. What are you doing here? <laughs> I was certain you already knew everything about fire and being awful at everything. Damn. Yeah, get his ass. It's important <laughs> to keep an open mind, Dahlia. I start every day with a willingness to learn new things about fire. So what the fuck are you doing here, blue balls? Starting fires is my signature yeah, move, and I'm not about to let you see it like you stole being a demon and having skin that is the primary color. <laughs> Nice. He's so jealous they do the have that in things. common. Who knows? Don't steal, we conquer! And I'm here as part of my ongoing mission to have the best summer camp experience ever! Everyone knows that the key component of summer camp experience is a campfire, and as I desire the best campfire ever, I require the ultimate rustic fire starting technique! Makes sense. What, you mean like shooting a match with a gun? Throwing a Zippo into a jug of moonshine? Airstrike? Of course not! I mean starting a fire by starting... By, starting a fire by striking two rocks together or spinning a stick very fast, perpendicular, to another stick! Amazing. <laughs> you, you can start fires with rocks and sticks. But that's what this whole place is made of! Why didn't anyone tell me? Oh no. Oh boy. Oh yeah the coach. <laughs> I feel like Bonk should do this one. Yeah, yeah, Bonk, yeah, you, bonk you got this. This. Is like, this is a Bonk character. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay. Oh, All right. JLS. Hello, kids. Who's ready to Who's ready to learn how to start up? Coach looks from Damien to Dahlia and back again. Nope. Nope. Can't swear been through too many times. Class is canceled. Goodbye. Well, damn it. <laughs> Wait, coach, come back. Teach me the rock thing and the stick thing. Can you start fire with leaves, wind, chipmunks? I need to know. <laughs> well, too bad, you cheap point. bottle of mild salsa. With a oh, mild shit. Ever to learn the oh, secrets shit. of woodland fire God. starting. Che Damn. Cheap <laughs> bottle of mild... So many white people are going to be called that now. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that... That hits hard. You cheap fucking can of white queso. 
<laughs> Unless, who killed my girlfriend knows something they aren't telling us. Don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> you never thought you'd see the day when Damien and Dahlia would be looking to you for fire-starting advice. But you feel prepared nonetheless. You tell them to... <laughs> get fired or host the Olympic Games so someone will bring you a torch. I both of these are terrible. I really want to see them host the Olympic Games personally. Honestly, I could see it. I I want to see. Part of me is just like the get fired is such a good like joke. Yeah. To see how I also these two would dumbasses would take it. They would take. Yes, so I good. I agree. My love. Which one? See. They they want to know how to make fire. They yeah. don't want to know how to get fire. Yes, they yeah. want. So... Yeah, no. I think get fired for me. I think get fired. Okay. Get fired. But getting fired requires getting a job. It's insane. No one's that crazy. <laughs> Welcome to capitalism, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Your dads are literally the kings of hell. You Shut totally up, are, boy. though. You sweet, you sweet talk your way into a summer job at the Forest McDonald's, cooking forest fries and flipping McDirt burgers. That sounds like a terrible time. Does. Why are there not other jobs? Because <laughs> you're in the middle of the woods. That sounds like excuses. But you haven't forgotten your true mission. You managed to get fired within two hours for taping malt liquor bottles to your hands and pissing continuously into the cash register. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> wow. Goddamn. Jesus Christ, you guys. At your exit interview, your manager, a middle-aged brownie named Seymour, sits you down for a talk. I'm gonna have to let you go, he says. Because of the pissing and the malt liquor, but mostly because you just don't embody the Forrest McDonald's spirit. But, because I respect your youth a little bigger, I'm gonna go ahead and offer you a severance package. There are two options. You can receive $200 and a lifetime supply of free Mr. Pimp. Or, you can be set completely on fire. Up to you. Personally, I choose the first option, but... Option B. You pick option B. Seymour shrugs and bathes you in napalm. You excitedly <laughs> run back to your friends. This... I'm uh, pleasantly surprised at how easy this was. This yep. is amazing. Too bad it's not your turn. <laughs> you did it! You're even crazier than I thought! Your body is on fire, and my soul is on fire with the admiration for your on fire body. Nice. Um, excuse me. That's good to hear. Quick, jump hey. into this pile of leaves and sticks, and let's have a bonfire. <laughs> <clears throat> this is exactly why I didn't want to teach you guys about fire. Jokes on you, coach. We caused exactly as much trouble without you teaching us anything. <laughs> Well, I guess we all learned a viable lesson here today. Have we have we learned any valuable lessons? I don't know. Don't get in cash registers. <laughs> Not you. You just vandalized a McDonald's and set yourself on fire. But you still gain plus two boldness and plus one creativity. Wow, look at your creativity. God damn. Finally. Okay. Hello. Yes. Where do y'all want to go? Woods, lake, camp dome. What do we need? Uh, we need creativity and smarts. So, uh, honestly, any of them could work. I don't know this area. Um, okay. Anyway. Then let's go with the lake. Lake. Let's go to the lake. Let's go swimming. While looking around the lake for a private place to take a pee, you find a treasure map buried in the sand. It leads to an X in the center of the lake. You gather a crew of trusted friends, don your eye patch, and sail out there to find the booty. When you arrive, you find a tiny island with a single palm tree. You dig up a box that says, open in case of a ve very boring day. You open the box and find, plus two fun. 
Yar. Well, that's not Yar. Bad. You break off from the group a little early to attend a CPR class at the lifeguard shack. You never miss a CPR class because you're a creep. <laughs> I see. Connor, Whoa! before we get into this, uh -huh. um, you should go to your front door. Uh -oh. What? Okay. You should go look outside your front door. <laughs> okay, hang on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this game's gonna do something to me. Kim, you've done it again. <laughs> yeah, it worked. Literally. <laughs> what? what are you gonna do? It's not just from me, it's from um, Chris and Janet as well. What happened? Thank you. And we thought that it's your birthday, so happy birthday. Thank you. They ordered me a treats of pizza from Dairy Queen. Oh. Mm. Okay. Uh, luckily for you, two of your smoking hot campmates are already there when you arrive. Damien doesn't seem happy about it, though. What the hell is this, Joy? You said you'd teach me water magic today. No, I didn't. I said with that stupid sock puppet you made of me while doing a frankly offensive impression of my voice. Damn, that always works on Scott. But, come on, why are we at this stupid class? Because saving lives is true magic, Damien. Wait, like, Wait, how actual many? magic? If I say yes, will you shut up and take the class? For sure. Then yes, we're learning actual magic. Fuck yeah! I'm gonna use it to kill people! Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, boy. Yes. Oh, Hello. Ooh, yes. Wife. Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, would you like to voice anybody? or? <laughs> I got this one. Okay, you're going to do both of them? Yes. Okay. Mm -mm. What's up, guys? Welcome to our super chill CPR class. I'm Wanda. This is Stu. We know your names. We've been going to school together for years. Uh, yeah, that's a relief. I was like 90% sure those were our names. But you can never be too sure, you know. Anyway, hop, hope you dudes are ready to kick back, throw Yay. on some tunes, oh. and remind us... Oh, do you want to do... I want to play Stu. I want to play Stu. Okay, you be Stu. I love this. Anyway, I hope you dudes are ready to kick Yeah! Yeah! I CPR, I totally forgot. Wait, you want us to teach you CPR? But you're the teachers! Look, we don't really believe in rigid hierarchies, okay? Student, teacher, what's the difference? How did you get your jobs? I mean, we definitely remember some of how to do CPR, but just, we just don't remember where the first step is, like, at all. What? This is bullshit! I'm never gonna learn magic at this rate. And you're never gonna get to the part where you put your lips on other people's lips. Come on, say something. What's the first step for performing proper CPR? Okay. Uh, before performing CPR, always check your mouth to make sure it's not busy eating some delicious pasta. Or just remember the acronym CPR. Cry, pray, recruit someone who actually knows CPR. <laughs> I feel like uh. that's the funnier answer. <laughs> it's the funnier answer, but does it prompt the funniest response? Yeah, it kind of draws away from the lips. Mm. I suppose brings attention to the mouth. Yes. Which she was just talking about the whole mouth to mouth part. So mm. the other one has the potential to bring more people over. Do uh, demons pray? We're not. Mm, that is a good I, question. I don't. Th are we after Damien? We haven't really discussed this. We've been mostly. We've been. Yeah, this is the first yeah. round. I don't know. I we were given joy at the beginning. Mm, so right now true. you have the best chance with joy. Yes, we can twitch, but we only have six rounds to do it. Five rounds to do it. Okay. So if we change now, we can't go back. Okay, let's just, we'll go with her. Uh, what? Sure. Which one are we going with then? Okay, so that's... 
I'd probably say she'd do the pasta then. Yeah. Okay. Are you sure, G? I swear we watched this social video on, on where mouth-to-mouth -mouth pasta passing was emphasized. Yeah, I totally remember that. That's why we swapped out our life preservers for a barrel full of spaghetti. Ew. This instructional video. Were either of the participants, you no know, drowning? <laughs> you know what? I don't think they were. Must have been really effective CPR. And in this video... Were the participants dogs by any chance? What are you getting at here, Joy? Mm. Oh my god, they totally were! You must have watched the same video! Yeah, that was Lady and the Tramp. You watched the Lady and the Tramp and thought it was a video about how to do CPR. I mean, regardless of what it has to do with CPR, it's a beautiful film. It is, it's gorgeous. Save for the, the Siamese cats part, that's a bit, that's an age well. And that one Chinese cat who plays chopsticks in the jazz bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but the jazz bit goes hard, though. It does. The song itself is wonderful, but the visuals are a little fucked up. Wasn't mm. The movie was made in what, like? Uh, oh, you're right. Yeah, oh, totally was, was, you're right. That was from the Aristocats. Not that was Aristocats. You're totally right. You're right. It's not? Aristocats. I said Aristocats. No, you said aristocrats. Oh, well, sorry. I can't speak anymore. I've lost we... the ability to sleep. Speak. Speak. I will do my best <laughs> to... Shut up, you bitch. <laughs> I will do my best to forgive this transgression. Kim, I'm going to come into your room and tuck you in tonight so I make sure no. you sleep. I, sleep pl I slept plenty yesterday. I slept for 12 <laughs> hours, okay? Dang. Oh. I really slept for All six. Right. That really fucking sucks. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, dear. anyway, right. Funk, you got a line. <laughs> Enough right, about me. It it's, it's not, but Disney movies are the source of so many valuable life lessons. Like, always believe in yourself, and Alice in Wonderland is a fucked up movie. <laughs> it's You're not it's wrong. Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Plus, oh, right. it just makes sense, you know? Well, no, that's not me. That's not me on getting on your case. That's It's how it was written. Yeah, no, I read uh, like that. Yeah, True. you you Who did was, your job just fine. He was correcting the text, not you, Bob. Oh. Yes, correct. But it just makes sense, you know. After all, pasta is life. And life is what we're trying to save when we do CPR. Yeah, I mean, sometimes when it gets late at night, I'll watch the TV or something, and I think, man, if I only eat some lasagna, and me, I'll literally die. And he's to say that people drowning in the lake didn't feel the same way. Maybe that's why they're drowning. It's like a cry for help, but instead of help, it's pasta. Exactly. Exactly. Oh my god. That's deep stew. So anyway, yeah. That's why we were why we always regurgitate pasta into people's mouths while we're giving them CPR. Free snacks. I think no, I just solved burned. the mystery behind the extremely high numbers of drowning deaths at camp this year. Oh yeah, definitely. It's all their fault and has nothing to do with me, for sure. <clears throat> Look mm. at your little blush. So yeah. So cute. It's mm. amazing. Damien casually stops drowning three dudes, hoping nobody noticed. <laughs> How's he holding three of them? Because he's a god. Is it? He's very talented. But you're saying our mouths shouldn't be full of pasta when we do mouth to mouth? This is revolutionary. We should be you should be teaching this class, Rosico. So teach the class you do. You insist that everyone skips straight to mouth touching, so you all can practice proper lip positioning. It's a little more clinical than you expected, and not nearly as hot. But just being this close to your crushes gains you plus two charm and plus one smarts. Yep. Also, Rosia, I, I feel it should be emphasized. There are literally hundreds of endings in this game, and it's rare yeah. to randomize. It is. We have is no just... idea how it's going to go. <laughs> yeah, there are, yeah. like, secret endings. There's, like, several different endings with everybody. 
Yeah. There's, there's so many. Oh, there's so many different weird storylines. So this is just nice. To be one of them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, everyone say pick yes. a movie. Hang on. Player order is decided based on which movie would be the hardest to reenact as a fireside. Oh. Hang on. Princess Bride would be the easiest. Where Where are you seeing this? Yeah. That part is. It, I I misclicked. Oh. What? I I clicked too too soon. Uh, I have misunderstood the assignment. We hit random then. Okay. The die is cast. Okay. There we go. So this is just the turn order for the next thing. Correct. Yep. Whoopsies. It okay. I'll get it next time. It's all right. Now you know. Okay. Week one. Evening. Okay. All right. Bonk. Okay. Uh, so okay. So um, what are what are our weaknesses here? Our lowest stat right now is charm. Creativity is also on the lower side. Okay. So, where to get creativity? Hmm. Uh, I'm thinking either the woods, maybe. I think it's the maybe dome. Scout HQ. I think it's the dome. Uh, Oh. Craft shack thing or something? Uh, that'd be Scout HQ would be the closest. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's go to Scout HQ. I want to get creativity. Okay. Cool. <laughs> that day, the monster scouts hike around the camp, cleaning up litter to respect nature and stuff. Nobody but Coach gives a damn about picking up trash, but it does quickly become a contest to find the coolest garbage. Some find used condoms, others find weirdly shaped fruit. You somehow find a Rembrandt. It's an original. Oh. Great. Oh. Shit. Nice. Goddamn. Okay. Sure. The mystery of how the Rembrandt ended up there will go on to trigger the most epic adventure you will you all will go on during the summer, but it won't happen on screen. But you still gain plus two creativity just by looking at it. So magnificent. Hell nice. Yeah. Good job. I like that. You're minding your own business, <laughs> smelling people. When Dahlia grabs you and drags you to the to the lake shore. Oh my god. Great. Love that. Jesus. There you are, Conk. Once more, I need your help achieving the best summer ever. Critiquing my rock skipping technique. Amazing. Dahlia skips a rock straight upwards. It disappears into space. Moments later, you notice a faint glimmer in the sky. It's not Dahlia's rock or the satellite Dahlia's rock destroyed. It's a meteor. It crashes into the woods on the far side of the lake, turning them into a giant bonfire. Ultimate campfire! Quickly! Tell me some campfire stories, but very loudly! Once upon a time, uh, there was there was a, a worm that got so big that it crawled into the lake for more space. Uh, and that's how. Car door. Nice. <laughs> You're about to tell her the one about the horny summer campers who finally boinked when you're distracted by a glowing figure approaching you across the lake. Greetings, says the figure in a warm, booming voice. It is I, Kalor, Herald of Summer. Kalor, it is an honor to meet you. Can you critique my rock-skipping technique? I am here on a much more important errand, says the spirit. Your passion for achieving the, all, the ideal summer has moved me. I have a quest for you. I have grown weak as of late due to lack of worship. The heralds of the other seasons mock me and drain my power. I need you to destroy them. I will do, noble man. Hotman. Hotman. Blame, blame me, oh Hotman. Blame me, oh Hotman. I was going to say talk to them and ask them to stop being such jerks, but honestly, that sounds great if you're up for it. The first herald you must defeat is Vern, Herald of Spring. He's in Florida. Good luck. I make my own luck out of blood! 
Blood! <laughs> Great. Yes, blood. Moments later, you're face to face with Burn. It turns out traveling to Florida is easy. You just mix a can of Bud Light with cough syrup and you're there. Hold on. Ew. Hold on, beer bag. Ew. Ew. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry. Are we waiting for Bonk? No, beer bag. I'm gonna go try that real quick. No, <laughs> no, 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 Bonk. No. Bonk, don't go to Florida. Don't do it. You're close enough to Florida already. Do not. I'm not going to Florida. I'm going somewhere worse. No. I'm going to Ohio. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, oh no. What's up, Rez? Says Vern while shotgunning a hard seltzer and thinking about boobs. Here to defeat me on behalf of that nerd, Caller? Yes! And also to get tan. A good tan is critical for the best summer ever! <laughs> Says Vern. Doing three keg stands at once by the grace of his divine, divine might. Suck my Easter eggs, looster, losers. Loosters. Loosters. Loosters, roosters. Hmm. No one can defeat me, he says. He says. I'm gonna live forever. Spring break! <laughs> <laughs> You'll just see about that. It just so happens that you know the perfect technique for defeating the Herald of Spring. Uh, oh, remind him that spring is just the lame opening act yes. for summer. <laughs> Absolutely. Heard his pride. Cut to the bone. <laughs> you wish, bro, says Vern, sharing a blunt with a baby lion his buddy rented unethically. If anything... Brings the new summer. What? Impossible. Summer is the new summer. Mm, makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. Maybe last decade, says Vern. But that was before global warming became a tragic and unstoppable certainty. Rising temperatures worldwide will make spring as hot as summer used to be. And then some. Also, more hurricanes. Uh, Alright, Caller. I don't... If spring replaces summer, what what will summer become? I don't know, man. That's not on me. I hear they're thinking of calling it the Great Dying or something, though. The Great Dying? Oh. I love dying. That sounds like a fantastic development. Is sure? What? No, people are going to starve to death. Disease will run rampant. You'll hate it. Good. I've been searching for an adversary to temper my unbreakable warrior spirit. Okay. So far, it sounds like Conk was right about spring. What else have you got? Well, says Vern, uh, spring is the most popular movement of Vivaldi's four seasons. Are you serious? This changes everything. It does? Of course. The relative popularity of classical pieces is the only metric I accept for determining a season's worth. Okay. This is a new dimension of <laughs> Dahlia that I was not ready for. No! Forgive no! She's extreme. Forgive me, Master Vern. I hereby pledge my myself to the service of spring! This is actually... It's, ac that's, it's actually made me more into her. Ah, cool, says Vern. Get me a beer. Dahlia rushes off to do his bidding. If she's going to be spending all her time helping out this divine douchebag, you doubt she'll have time for summer romance. You lose two charm and one fun. Mm. Shit! Heck. We are not yeah. charming in the least. I quit. I quit. <laughs> oh, no. I quit. It's all right. Over. You still have time to come back. You have summer down. Rosie Coe. Oh, this is us. Okay. Uh, where do you want to go? Oh, where damn. Go, We're being raided. Oh, with shit. a party of 13! Oh, hi! Hello! Hello, everyone! Good lord! Welcome! Hello, Succubus Dex! Party Welcome to the madness! Uh... I'm gonna do a quick YouTube outro while all this is happening. Uh, if you are watching live or on the VOD, such as the 13 people that just arrived, uh, thank you for being here. I appreciate it very much. Uh, if you are watching and you have not followed, perhaps you want to be like Nicky Nick and do that. 
Um, if you have already done that and you want to uh, subscribe, that'd be cool. Gets me gets me money, which I like. Yeah, no, we're, we're going to keep going in a moment here. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube, you can like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. Uh, if you want merch, we have that. At streamlabs.com slash guys slash merch. You got some good stuff over there. Such as this t-shirt. Our bonk bath t-shirt. Um. Yee. Heck yeah. As an it's, owner it's, of said Tall Linky merch, buy it. It's comfortable. All yeah. good. Yes, if it you is. Uh, if you don't buy it, yeah. your ankles. Yeah, get this t-shirt of our good friend Bonk, bathing in the blood and guts of his enemies. Oh. Drawn by your tr yours truly. <laughs> I exactly. Like, I feel like you're learning a lot of things here tonight, Rose. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, otherwise, thanks so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, we'll see you later. <laughs>